Microsoft Loop versus OneNote. Which one is the best for you? Pros and cons. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into Microsoft Loop and OneNote, two powerful tools from Microsoft that help you stay organized and boost your productivity. Whether you're a student, professional, or team leader, we're going to help you in figuring out which one is the best fit for you. So let's start with a quick overview of both of these tools. First off, we have Microsoft Loop, which is a new kid on the block. Think of it as a dynamic collaboration workspace where everything updates in real time. It's designed for teams to co-create and manage content seamlessly across all Microsoft 365 applications. Whereas on the other hand, we have Microsoft OneNote. OneNote is a classic digital notebook that's been around for years. It's perfect for capturing ideas, taking notes, and organizing them into easy-to-navigate sections and pages. So what sets them apart? Let's divide this into the pros and cons of both of these tools, starting off with Microsoft Loop. This is what the Loop dashboard looks like, and it's very intuitive. Some of the pros include its real-time collaboration. Imagine working on a shared document where changes are going to appear instantly. With Loop, it's like using Google Docs, but it's integrated across all Microsoft 365 applications. Whether you're using Microsoft Word, Teams, or Excel, everything is synced up. Then you have Loop components. These are blocks of content. Things like checklists, tables, or text that you can share and create across apps. You can edit them in one place and they sync everywhere. You also have seamless integration with pre-existing Microsoft 365 tools. Loop becomes a natural extension of your workflow, boosting your productivity. And it's a future-proof design. With AI features and cross-platform compatibility, Loop is tailored for modern hybrid work environments. So we have real-time collaboration, loop components, integration, and future-proof design. Well, what are the cons of using loop? Well, there is a steep learning curve because no tool is perfect and there are potential downsides. If you're not familiar with using these types of tools before, creating pages, understanding all the features, building these templates can be really difficult. And loop is still evolving. Although Loop is pretty nice to use, the UI is really nice, it has some missing features that you might expect it to have. Things like advanced searches or deep customization are relatively new and unavailable. And it has limited offline functionality. Well, if you are connected to the internet or if you are online, Loop is very effective. However, when you are working offline or if you're doing work without internet, Loop can feel very useless. It's not as effective at all, which defeats the purpose of a note-taking app. Moving on to the pros and cons of OneNote. This is what OneNote is going to look like. You guys can see our homepage, our docs. We can open up Microsoft OneNote over here. We're going to continue here with OneNote. And this is what OneNote looks like. We have project overviews. The basic structure is pretty similar to any standard note-taking application. Some of the pros of OneNote include comprehensive organization, where you have notebooks, sections, and pages. OneNote lets you organize your thoughts just like a physical notebook, but with the power of digital tools. You also have offline access. You can work on OneNote without an internet connection, which is a lifesaver during commutes or in areas with poor connectivity. You also have multimedia capabilities where you can even include handwritten notes. It's a versatile tool for creative minds and detail-oriented professionals alike. And while premium features do exist, most of OneNote's core functionality is free, making it accessible to everyone. But OneNote isn't without its flaws. It has limited collaboration where you can share notebooks, but OneNote does not offer real-time collaboration features that Loop excels at. And the interface is clunky. You can probably see that right now because the interface feels very outdated and navigating through sections and pages might feel slow if you're managing a lot of content. If you take a look at integration, Microsoft 365 is a part of the Outlook application and OneNote as well. However, OneNote doesn't integrate as seamlessly with other Microsoft 365 apps as compared to Loop. So if I was to compare some of the key differences in a side-by-side -side comparison, I would say in collaboration, Loop wins. 
and organization both are pretty amazing. In offline functionality, OneNote takes the cake. In integration, Loop takes the cake. And in terms of ease of use, OneNote is far more beginner friendly with easy and understandable comprehensive features available for free. So which one is going to be the best for you? Let's take a demo on how I would be taking notes. This is OneNote and I can click on create. Once I go into create, I can choose what I want to create. Now in OneNote, you guys can see we even have presentations, but I'm gonna go into apps and we are going to go into our OneNote application. These are all our OneNote notes. And I have this class schedule notebook. I'm going to open this up. Once I open up my notebook, I can start writing down my notes as I normally would with a regular notebook. And this, I can create a section. Let's say it's biology. Once I do that, I can add a page, which is going to be, let's say, today. And this is going to be lecture for today. And whatever it is, I can write that. It has all the basic features that you would usually see in Word, including insert, draw, view, and help. Now, if I was to compare this to loop, I can go into loop over here. Once I go into loop, I can click on create new. And once I click on create new in the current workspace, I can create pages, links, and page in ideas. We can also build segregated workspaces. So if I click on new page, I can simply title that page. So let's say it's biology, and then I can write a page regarding biology or whatever I might want. We can also click on create new and build a completely new workspace. This allows you to section out different areas of your life. So if you have things like your university or you have your work section and you want to keep everything segregated, then you might want to create different workspaces within Loop, which allows you to have content segregation while still keeping the collaboration features integrated into all elements of Microsoft 365. Now, if you go into ideas, you can even jot down quick ideas as well as build quick meeting notes while not having the hassle of building a completely new workspace. Now, both of these seem pretty nice. So with these, I would say that you should go for a pricing comparison. Well, if you take a look at Microsoft 365, it has different plans for homes and businesses. The home plans start at a different price and depending on whether you're paying monthly or yearly. If we go for the most basic plan, which is the monthly billing of Microsoft MS 365 for your entire family, that's going to cost you $9.99 a month. This is for one to six people, includes five devices at once, and you guys can see it includes OneNote. However, Loop's capabilities are limited. So if you scroll down, you can actually scroll down and see OneNote is included, and you can click on learn more over here to see all of your accessibilities and all the different features. I would say if you need a simple note-taking application, then OneNote is going to be fine for you. However, if you're working with other people and you want to work with multiple people, then Loop is something that allows you real-time collaboration and is better for business. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.